Hey guys, how's it going? Block Decentral here, and I am back with No Legends. This is a game on the Tron blockchain that has been in development for the past year or so. It has a heavy hand in charity and big social issues, and I'm not going to waste any time. So I'm going to be going over the website as well as the white paper. It's going to be a little bit of a lengthy video, so I'm going to try to have times down below that you can skip to. As well as if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below and I will make sure to talk to the developers of the game. They are very active on their social medias, Telegram, Discord, etc, etc. And I'm going to try to answer any of these questions that you may have about this game in the next video. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. So no, no Legends jackpot has begun. Pool prize approximately. Oh, let's not skip ahead. Uh, equal to 2... What does that say? 2,750,000 or 27,500. Uh, no, 2,750,000 Tron. 11,000, keep skipping ahead too fast. No coins will be distributed among 1,000 top seed holders. 133 beta players, 745 legends sold. What does that say? 55 million, 200, or 700, 5 million, 57,277 Tron total value. 423 null coin holders. 21,090 no water holders. You can see some shards. You can pause if you need to on any of these. We got some reviews on the site. Tron World needs legends. Grow your favorite legend. Every hero has a unique set of skills and character. Which tree folk will you merge with? How will your legend unfold? Only together can we free the world of Tron from oppression and slavery. Will you have what it takes? Dwarf Oak. The dwarf tree serves as the central tree of Noville and is commonly used to grow apple fruits. The strength of dwarf tree is the fast pace it can grow fruits over time. So these are, I'm assuming, overviews of all the different seeds that you can get. Recent news and articles. Roadmap. Stage 1. Building community. Uh, does not have dates on the roadmap. You can pause that and read it if you'd like. We will launch a beta version on 55 days, 21 hours from now. August 29th so sometime in October I will be expecting a beta to be launching and you can expect an update video by that point if not sooner we have the no water shop and that is it for the main site we then have the seed market where it'll take us to get the seeds the jackpot has begun price pool of approximately 27 2 million 275 thousand Just keep it simple at that 11,000 null will be distributed to 1,000 top seed holders, top rank seed holder 5,000, 5th rank up to 251st place, 1,000 null will be distributed according to seed's value, seed cap, and then you can see the prices, 84 tron for the dwarf oak all the way up to 26,600 tron for the pataya, which only has two left available, and I am very sorry if I am butchering any of those names. And this is in Tron. Keep that in mind. Alright, now we got the white paper. It's kind of lengthy and doesn't explain absolutely everything, but it is definitely a good overview. So, overview. Uh, if you have any questions on this, as I said, definitely feel free to comment down below. No Legends aims to be the game that bridges the gap between gamers and philanthropy with blockchain. We aim to create a fun experience that gamers can enjoy for years to come that also speaks to its audience in an inconspicuous and clearly disguised educational system. A system where we can touch on important subjects like climate change and poverty in such a way that players can attempt to fix the situation through understanding, compassion, and work. This experience can not only be fun and inspiring, it can also be extremely positive, reducing the helplessness many people feel when confronted by these specific global issues in real life. So you can pause and read the rest of that if you would like. Uh, their vision, we aim to be the first blockchain game that is specifically benefits charity through the use of in-game environment. Currently, the gaming industry has surged. Uh, you can read that if you want. Uh, no Water was born in the month of December last year, 2018, as a simple dividend token. Here's a quick brief backstage, things that have led it. Uh, we had 10,000 originally. Uh, let's see, immediately after the creation, the dividend program started. It has been going on monthly ever since the beginning of 2019, so roughly seven or so months now. Let's get into some gameplay. We want the good stuff. 
Users purchase seeds from Lady Armordad, the ruler of Noville, and grow them to make their legends. Legends are fed with no water. Each class of legends has a different no water consumption, growth rate, and capabilities. It means having each type of legends that will affect the total growth and production of the user's garden. Legends have growth stages that start from seed to sapling, then middle age, and finally mature, which can produce fruits. All legends reach maturity at level 25, but the time needed for this, dropping first fruit, is different for each class of legend. After producing fruits, gamers can sell the fruits to Lady Armordad in the shop and gain no water, so you will not always need to purchase no water. If the player does not irrigate the tree during the appropriate times, the tree will wither at any stage of growth and the player will lose it. Wither trees should be removed from the map for a player to be able to plant a new seed, or a player can use life spell to bring it back to life. So that sounds like a similar mechanic to uh, was that Eggie's Eggie's world, where you hatch the egg, the seed in this case, and then you pay Tron to keep it alive by getting it water, feeding it water, no water, and if it dies, you can bring it back with Tron or maybe no water or the life spell, whatever that costs to consume the life spell. So how that pages into the profit system is a very big component to this game. I know that Eggie's world did not end up being profitable enough for me to continue it. Uh, I would put in around 5 Tron per day just to keep it alive with the candy and it did not return 5 Tron per day. So that is definitely going to be something they have to consider for this game. The goal of this game is to earn more experience, score, and gaining a better place in the leaderboard. Top 10 of the to percent of the total income of the game will be paid as dividends to the top players monthly. There are various ways to earn experience in the game that is explained in the next chapters. So the point, the main overall point objective is to get into the top 10% of the game to g earn enough rewards, or enough profit, enough Tron or whatever back so that it's worth it to keep playing and to keep trying to keep yourself in the top 10%. Here we have their legendary down to rare classes. We have the experience and level up system. You can gain experience points through achievements, shopping, seeds, tools, spells, watering legends, levels of legends, harvesting and selling fruits, expansion, using spells, and gaining many other features through the gameplay. The total experience points players have accumulated corresponds to their vigilance store score. A player can tap on their achievements button to see the achievements board and their score. So you level up, they were talking about getting up to level 500 plus, it's going to take a lot of no water and a lot of experience, a lot of farming, so it's going to be quite a grindy game for the most part. Achievements. Achievements are goals set by the game that players can try to reach to earn experience points and loot boxes. Currently there is a total of 30 different types of achievements each able to be completed to the third level, making 90 total achievements. As the game updates, more achievements will be added. So they already have some point or some achievement system set out and set up and expected for the game. From best gardener to hyper harvester, can't read all of those at this point. Uh, we have different loot boxes that they have planned as achievements. Legends will drop loot boxes randomly as gifts to their owners after level ups. Loot boxes may contain various types of coins from Tron to Null to BTT, which depends on the average level of all legends in Nullville. Completing achievements are another way to earn loot boxes. Shop, uh, where you can go and sell items. Using the shop, it has five tabs, seeds, tools, spells, fruit market, and no water spring. Seeds, no legend. Uh, you can go and purchase the seeds, which are your plants that you will grow, and then you can detach them from the PvP where you will then be able to go and fight other players and earn more experience. You can see some items that you'll use in the game, shovel, watering can, pickaxe, wheelbarrow, lily pad, standard farming game type materials. Spells, we have life potions, speed spell, respawn spell, poison spell, uh, where it seems that you will have to purchase these spells. So that seems not like the greatest um, option for this game. I'm not sure how that's going to tie into the PvP if you will have to buy the spells that you can use. That seems very unfair, however, uh, I can't speak on that yet as the beta is not out. No Water Spring, the last tab in the shop is where you can buy No Water with Tron. It is the main currency of the game and you need it to purchase all items in the game. And uh, they have, uh, at some point of the site, I think on the main site it will show you, uh, saying 20% goes to charity, 20% goes to 
um, the competitions and that sort of thing into the jackpot and whatnot. The majority of it goes to charity, I can tell you that much. Here we go. Uh, game treasury is 50%. Development team is 10%. Charity is 20%. Leaderboard rewards is 10 And events, contests, and loot boxes is another 10 So that answers all that much. We have the roadmap as before. We have the ISO, initial seed offering. 30% uh, discount on seed prices to cover the expenses of developing No Legends game. So you can go and get yourself a seed on sale to help fund the game itself. Future project prospects, uh, we have in-game chat box, players form, forming teams and neighborhoods, P2P market, PvP area, and seasonal events and contests. Uh, no Legends War, players who are fighting each other can send plagues and villains to each other's gardens. They may use poison spells, also hire villains to rush each other's village, destroy their garden, and steal their saplings. Winners of the war will gain experience and loot boxes. Uh, that'll be immediately after beta launch. Then we have factions. Humans, villains, and robots. Oof, I wonder where robots are going to come into this game. More information about the functionality of PvP will be announced later versions of this paper. We have a P2P market. And that's pretty much everything for No Legends. So I'll have the links for everything in the description for you guys to go and check out. That was a lot there to hear, a lot to go through, a lot to register in your minds. But, um, in short, beta's coming in October. Lots of this game. It's going to be a very farming simulator S Tron game to begin with, with PvP and MMO aspects later on. Well, the MMO is going to be immediately for the farming aspect, but MMO RPG esque PvP battle system later on. And there's a lot for them to prove. There's a lot here, a lot that they're trying to accomplish. Uh, I'm very interested to see how it's going to go about being achieved and going about just kind of happening all together. Got some stats on their main site if you want to go and check it out. Get yourself some seeds. Help fund the game. Uh, go and watch some reviews other than this one. And um, yeah, just kind of wait until October when I will be back. Either debunking the game without its beta. Talking about its delay if they decide to push it back further than October. Or we will be seeing some sort of beta gameplay starting in October. So that's it for No Legends at the moment. As I said, let me know any comments you have. Any questions, concerns. Uh, if you're excited, if you're not, what you're looking most forward to, least forward to, what you want to see changed or improved, added, whatnot, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So, peace out.